welcome guys to the second tutorial and we will be uh, just diving right into it and starting a new project here we will just set up our news application um, what should I name it news API app okay that's good so we'll just build our project and then quickly add some dependencies and yeah from in this tutorial we'll just set up our project okay looks like our project uh, has successfully uh, launched so one by one I'll just go through these dependencies that we need for this project although we are not using data binding but if I uh, would feel like then I would implement it at the very last tutorial of this tutorial series so you by this point you already know what are safe arguments like we pass it through uh, the fragments if we want to pass something then that is for that so uh, we would need all these plugins and then I would just go and enable data binding also uh, like uh, explained before we might not just use it for now and yeah so I'll just get chunk of dependencies uh, that we need for this project and okay so this is for time conversion like I had shown you earlier the time is not going to be presented to us in a uh, like a readable format uh, or the format that we are used to and this is like the image view that I showed you for categories that circle image view and this is for loading the images from internet this is obviously for navigation this is retrofit and coroutines this is like room database okay maybe just change it to newer okay change it to new year new newer like versions okay that's it okay and also in the project module of gradle we'll just go and paste this chunk right above these plugins okay and now we'll click on sync and while it's syncing, I'll just try to add the assets to it. Maybe layout and drawable. And also the menu. So what I'll just simply do, I'll just delete these first. Even though they are being used somewhere, but we'll just uh, get rid of them for now. Okay, they are gone and then I'll just show in Explorer please note that the way I'm doing it it will be different on your computer because you will be downloading the layouts from my github repository please do follow me on github too okay uh, we'll just open this and layout is empty so I'm just going to yeah place layouts in here okay these are our layouts also obviously fragments also like I have shown you earlier and we will get the animations and animations for our like once we nav once we are navigating from navigating from uh, one fragment to another then we need then we need that and also please note very importantly that uh, because this is an app that is going to use internet so we have to add this permission this is very important and uh, I think in how long is this tutorial 
so yeah this is not too long we can keep working on it uh, we'll just create some of the packages uh, this is for database and this is going to be package where is that for fragments this is going to be for service means maybe we will create our retrofit response and all that uh, some wrapper for making sure that if there is an error or there is a success response from API then that also is needed and then we can go here and create another package called adapters okay what else do we need yes we need the MVVM package okay that's good so let's start creating our fragments and then we can maybe go and create our navigation component also while we are at it so in the UI we need like three fragments uh, one is going to be fragment breaking news and I'll just delete one because I, ha I already have the layout for that right so uh, I'm just marking it del, del 1 del 2 so I we can delete it later okay fragment blank it's going to be fragment saved news del 2 okay now the last one is going to be um, fragment article okay, del 3 now here we'll just come and delete all this del 1 del and obviously we have to clean these fragments the auto generated codes here really annoying so we'll just get rid of this yeah i'll try to finish this tutorial within like 10 minutes so you know we don't get bored and also at the same time while we are at it we'll just hook our xml layouts to these fragments that we have just created okay now this is here okay it's gone mm, fragment breaking news if you have any questions about any of my tutorial or you want me to do some other app in some other language please uh, post comments so we can you know uh, present that for you okay now here is fragment saved news and after this I'll just go to the layouts and explain one by one so this is the main fragment or activity main where all the navigation graph is going to be hosted because this we have not created so that is why it's showing red don't worry about it now the article view is going to be like looking like this okay and then breaking news is going to look like this uh, it has a recycler view it has yeah it has some uh, sort of um, icons uh, that helps us to uh, that help us to you know like uh, go through the categories and then we have saved news um, yeah, save news is going to be another recycler view because obviously the news that we have saved and then there is this test item uh, which I can rename here to news list okay so this is great obviously this news list if you're familiar with recycler view then that means like this is the layout of the all the recycler view items that they are going to follow okay so 
very quickly just going through Android resource file navigation and just name this navigation we'll click OK okay so our breaking news is going to be our first fragment so that is here we will this is like the starting destination right and then we can go to article view from here so and from saved okay so here it goes from article we can go to save news from breaking news we can go to save news and from saved news we can come back to breaking news okay it did not generate that code i think okay oh wow some problem there okay yeah that's the path and also from saved news it can also go to article and from article we can also go back to breaking news so these are our path of the destination that our uh, navigation graph is going to follow and we can just click on this so to make it a little bit more arranged form it's an automatic feature but this home icon that you see that means here everything this is the first one from here we will go to other destinations and if I come back to activity main now hopefully okay so the name is wrong we'll just change this to navigation so now this code we need for our this is kind of a boilerplate code no, no matter what project you create if you are uh, if you are using navigation component then this is what you would write to host your navigation graph on activity main going back to main activity here already we have this name okay so I'll just check my drawables and uh, there seems to be some issue here okay um, they seem empty okay. yeah so I think I did not copy my drawables in there just go to my news API and create a folder of drawable mm. drawable I'll just paste all the assets needed for this project and if I click on this now then hopefully it should work okay yeah so all of our all of our assets are here already so if I um, go to main activity then where am I using those assets in breaking news yeah so here it should yeah go so everything is working fine we have already like worked on our xmls and we have worked on our navigation and everything now in the next tutorial hopefully we will just jump right to the code okay so see you in the next one